Sierra Nevada is a famous and even most famous ski resort in Spain. It has around 111 kilometers of slopes and the highest skiable slope in Spain of 1,200 meters. There is a lot of different ones from very easy, which are 20, easy, 50, difficult, 53, and very difficult, which are black slopes. And there are seven of those out here. First thing that we need to do is to park our car whenever we arrive to Sierra Nevada. And parking can be quite expensive. Take it for a day or even for a few days if you will be here for a long time because for just three hours more or less the price will be of around five to six euros minimum. Once you get out of the parking lot you have these lovely squares with hotels, apart hotels, apartments and a big variety of different restaurants, bars, cafeterias and places to grab some takeaway. Prices here are obviously more expensive than in the usual town, than in Granada, which is, by the way, one hour away from here. So check it out before, compare all the prices before you sit down, because menu at some of these places costs more than 20 euros per person. What you can also find here are different shops that sell you everything needed for the snow adventure. And if you don't want to buy any of these, you can actually rent out the whole entire equipment for a small price from $27.50 for an adult, which is actually not a bad price if what you want is to go for skiing. But even though Sierra Nevada is a ski resort, there is way more than that here for families, friends, and even just for solo travelers, because there is way more you can do than just ski or grab a snowboard. First thing are the gorgeous, stunning views of the Sierra Nevada and surrounding mountains. Right now, it's mid-December, going towards the second half of it, and as you can see, apart from the slopes, there's no sky snow anywhere in the area it doesn't feel like winter at all apart from the cold wind and in general cold temperatures were barely above zero if at all i must say right here we also have local police we have guardia civil which is civil uh, guard civil protection there is a pharmacy nearby and even authentic christmas trees which are impossible to find in the area of Benidorm, Costa Blanca, which is where we are originally coming from. Apart from that, a lot of shops, a lot of ski companies, a lot of different places when you can rent the equipment where you can do a forfeit, which is the lessons of skiing. We took the telecabina, which is the cabin, that brings you directly to the top we're going to Borregiles Borregiles is a part where not only you do have several slopes some restaurants and cafeterias and bars and a shop but also you have one of the two activity points Borregiles and Mirlo Blanco are two of the places where you can actually go if you're not a skier or if you don't use a snowboard these are activities oriented for families. Mirlo Blanco is slightly for smaller children and families up until eight years old, more or less. And Borregiles is starting from around seven to eight years old. Smaller children can go, but the instructor might say you're not able to use all of it because especially the donut is slightly more uh, dangerous. As you can see, even now at the beginning of the season, this area is quite busy. It's weekend, by the way, when we're filming it. It's Sunday. So this is how Sierra Nevada is looking like mid-December on a Sunday. Great day. There's quite some snow, but not so much as the previous years. The best time to go to Sierra Nevada is actually in February or March month. In general, the ski season opens up at the end of November and finishes late April months. But if you go into February, you might find not only the slopes with a lot of snow, 
a natural snow, by the way, but also the Sierra Nevada and all the surrounding mountains and villages covered by a white winter blanket. Right now, only these slopes and just a tiny bit of mountains do have it, simply because there's giant machines working non-stop. We're heading fast forward to the Borregiles activities. Only the machines are working, which is why you actually have snow, but it's not like a natural one. So it's very, very compact. It's very, very hard. And even though it's like a real snow, but it's not the one coming from the sky, if you know what I mean. So the sense and the real feel is quite different. It's still quite cold though. So you need to bring a nice equipment, nice clothing and shoes so that you wouldn't get cold from the very beginning. This is the circuit that you have in front of you, which is Borregiles. Right now, during the season 2023-2024, the activities here, including the telecabin, cost 25 euros per person. However, if you do not pay for the telecabin, if you've paid it already previously, or if you buy like separate tickets, it will cost you 1050 only for the activities and as you can see the machines are blowing non-stop literally aggressively onto all the people because they need snow not a lot of slopes are open just yet i must say here in the area as you can see not a lot of them and we're already mid-december usually there used to be quite just a little bit more snow than there is right now Let's go for the activities and we'll explain you how it actually uh, goes. This is the main entrance. The instructor is here to let you know how everything works. And they're bringing one family at a time. When someone goes out, someone goes in. So peak season, there might be some queue. Be prepared for that. This area, the same as Mirlo Blanco, has exactly the same activities. Trineos, which is going down with the sleigh. With the plastic sleigh and then you have the donut which is tobogan this one that you have on your left side you can use both of these activities and it's around half an hour that you have paid we've tried the sleigh right here there is our hubby going on with it not a big fan of snow but you need to experiment new things right so we decided to try it out and me and our daughter are going right behind him to film it for you guys to show it to you and um, you need to be careful even though there is nothing wrong that can go wrong except for you just falling on the snow and that's basically it but it was quite fun it's quite a fun experience i must say and there's quite a few families that came here by the way the telecabin is going quite high this is one of the highest points of sierra nevada and you must know it, especially if you have frequent headaches or things with the tension in your body. Because even us, whenever we went up at some certain point, we started to feel like strange things in the ears and in the head for pressure. Because the pressure changes quite a lot when you go as high all of a sudden. So bear that in mind, but it's not something that could potentially stop you. This area here on the left side is one of the mechanical like staircase when you go with a ski or with a snowboard. You just put them on and you step on it and it brings you towards the slopes. However, this area is not open just yet. There's not enough snow, even though the machines are working very, very hard, but there's not enough of it. Thus, it is not open just yet. How much do the forfeits cost? Forfeit is when you grab like a an opportunity to ski, okay, just like a skiing ticket. And they cost from 35 euros for an infant, for a child up until 15 years old. At least this year, these are the prices. And 50 euros it costs for an adult. This is from this price, okay? And it goes higher and higher depending how many slopes you want to do, how much time do you want to have it, several days, just one day experience, etc. So it's not too expensive if you take the basic things, but if you... Keep taking things from one part, the other, for it fades, different experiences, which they offer as well, by the way. For experiences, there is like a walk on the snow and there is, ooh, and there's also 
a part where you can drive a snow machine. But it's not available, I think, right now because there is not enough of snow. And here is me or my daughter trying our best to make the maximum of the half an hour that we have for the activities here in Borregiles. This is the first place that we were trying, actually. And it's quite fun. Not gonna lie. It's quite fun. It's been a long time since we didn't try something like uh, this. On our way back, there are different cafeterias, uh, shops, rentals. It's full of different services. So check it out. There's even a health center in case you need something, a medical prescription, or you need something because you're not feeling well. And from here, we will be going towards the Mirlo Blanco. But before I want to show you, there is the pharmacy, there are some pizza places, there is rentals and hire of different equipments, and some places that give you sandwiches, hot drinks, takeaway food, and much, much more. By the way, what you need to know is the tickets for Borregiles, you can buy them directly here at the client attention or at the machines. However, when you go to the activities of Mirlo Blanco, it's not here on the square where you need to purchase them, but you need to go directly to Mirlo Blanco and that's where you purchase all the activities tickets and Mirlo Blanco has exactly the same activities than Bor that Borregiles except for one the trineo ruso how they call it here in spanish which is like um american slide okay which are like this slide that is really really fun we've been recommended to try it out today which is what we will try by the way the resort right now is closing all the activities are closing at around 5 5 30 maximum the is you can enter up until 4 30 and then you have like an hour half an hour to do all the activities so around five something that's when all the activities will close this is the walk until mirlo blanco and we can see that they're still working quite hard on different slopes and there is no snow in the down area of sierra nevada there is literally no snow at all we do have some water right here that is almost frozen there are some jumping beds for two euros for um, around six minutes time which is actually not bad at all then there are some games right here for smaller children they also go with coins two or one euro coins i think so um there is a coin exchange machine by the way just in case you don't have any with you just the paper bills and then there is the area of activities this is where you grab all the activities Without the telecabin, towards the higher points, only these activities cost you 19 euros with the telecabin to Borregiles. It costs 29 euros per person. And then right here is where you pick up your pictures when you go to the uh, roller coaster. It's a really, really mini one. It's just fun to go there. This is where you purchase the tickets for Trineo Russo, which is uh, the roller coaster and let's go there to show you how it looks like by the way just a roller coaster costs costs you seven euros per person this is a double of a speed okay this is not the real speed it's twice less this is slow right now it's automatic and it brings you towards a certain point from where you will need to operate on your own on the fresh air we cannot film there for safety reasons obviously but it's very very nice you can find some professional videos from sierra nevada where they show you how it looks like but it's actually real fun and right near us with barely any snow at all there is the area where a lot of families are coming with their own things and goodies to have some fun with children which is free of charge cool, eh? there are also different formula for families and you can also register on their website which is where you can comfortably purchase all of the four fates especially if you're skiing uh, and all these packs specific packs for families which are slightly less expensive than individually and we finally got the bouncing beds and we took it because it's actually real fun i must say and sometimes it's great to do something like this on your holidays you know not to think much more of it 
just go with the flow enjoy and this was real real fun and you need to be careful actually when you do it but we've had a great time it's nice to change the atmosphere from this sunny benidorm town in costa blanca this is what sierra nevada is looking like in granada the famous ski resort and the highest ski resort as well in the entire spain incredible place that will start to be very very empty starting from 5 30 pm but the best time to go here february month probably right now as you can see there's not a lot of snow but still a lot of paths and activity areas are open for families to enjoy we'll see you in a new video Bye, see you.